From smiling and brimming with joy to laying in a hospital bed, Robert Cass contracted COVID before vaccines were available. Last January, he spent eight weeks unconscious and on a ventilator. But after doctors saved his life, he would spend months struggling to breathe with a tube still on his neck. He has started to recover and regain his voice. Well, Robert is joining us now via Zoom this morning to share a bit of his story. Good morning and thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Well, first off, Robert, tell us when did you know you should go to the hospital? Well, I went ahead and I came home from work and I wasn't feeling very well. I had a heart and fever. And, you know, everything, it, it just felt like a cold. Um, it was a couple of days when I was having trouble breathing. My lovely wife said, okay, we're off to the hospital. Here we go. You're not breathing well. Wow, that is petrifying. I'm so sorry. Well, I know you spent weeks on a ventilator. You even missed your own birthday. Could you have imagined this ever happening to you? No, not at all. I was very active uh, I, in sports, um, softball, scuba diving, rock climbing, everything. No underlying conditions of any kind. It was just, it, it really threw me back. And I know you also suffered through throat damage, which ultimately uh, you needed surgery for. Well, what was that like? And was it a little difficult to breathe on your own again? Well, it was uh, the only way that I could breathe at all. I couldn't breathe through my mouth or through my nose. I had to go ahead and breathe through a, a trach tube. So that was uh, that was different. Never had that. Never had to do that before. And as someone who has, you know, survived a tough COVID battle, is there any message you have out there for others? Well, I, I go ahead and I tell people, and I've told the doctors and everybody else that I come in contact with, you know, you invest in your health, you know, exercise, eat right, stay healthy. If you don't have your health, you don't have anything. And of course, if your immune system uh, is not working well, you're more susceptible to it. Get get the vaccine. I, I'm fully vaccinated now, and, and I really recommend every being vaccinated. And I know your support system played a big role in your recovery. Um, how important was it for you to have a loved one by your side? Well, when you go ahead and you think about it, uh, like we've seen everywhere that you're in the hospital by yourself, you know, you're, you're surrounded by nurses and doctors, but you don't have those family members around. So being able to go ahead and have your family and coworkers, you know, support you, keep you going, you know, the, it, the mental part is the hardest thing. The physical part, you could go ahead and get over, they could fix that, but mentally, you really need support. And I know most of us didn't think that, you know, we'd be heading into 2022, still talking about this pandemic. Uh, what are your thoughts now that we're still facing a uh, possible surge in the country as we head into the new year? Well, I go ahead and I look at it. I think that this virus is going to be around for a while. It's um, not like nothing we've ever seen before and people just need to go ahead and, and be aware of what's going on and just be safe well thank you so much robert i'm so glad you were able to survive and thank you again for sharing your story with us this morning yes thank you so much you have just a great day